Sponsored by Fletcher's Flies, along with Salt Rights and Industry Portage. Yo, yo, what's up everyone? This is Kantanaka, Wish for Fish 2015 season. It's the first time I'm out this spring. It's still a little cold. Uh, the water temperature is about 50 degrees. I already saw some rising fish, which is a good sign. So hopefully today will be a good day. But anyway, look forward to a whole new season of fishing. Hope you guys are too. So, I'll see you guys on the water. Oh my god. This brownie just came up right in front of me. Number two, beautiful brownie. Beauty, beauty trout, look at that. Oh yeah, nice on the betas this time. I think there's gonna be something right in here. this bad boy right here beauty brown beauty brown
hit the Vetus. Okay, it's another one for the Vetus. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Alright, put this back. Ugh. Got a little weight on. So, for those of you always asking for my setup, I got a little bit of weight and I'm using a putty. And I'm talking tiny, like less than a BB. I got the first nymph about a foot and change. Nice hair's ears nymph. Alright, and then I just got it tied on. Another about a foot and change. It's actually over 17 inches. I'd say about almost 20 inches. And then I'm using a nice Betis uh, unweighted. Alright. Uh, another brown. Little 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 guy. Got him on the uh, uh, blue wing olive. Okay. Just a little guy. Let's get him on his way real quickly. Okay, beauty brown here. Beauty brown. Oh yeah. No. Uh, ooh, it's got this on the, uh, 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 all right. Whew. That thing shot out like a dart. Okay. All right, I got another one. Looks like on the Betis. Yep, Betis nymph. They're crushing the beta nymph. Ugh. Phew. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice brownie in this slow pool right here. It's a decent brown. Oh yeah, Griffith's Nad, baby. On the dry. So, 2015 has begun. It was a good day out on the stream yesterday. A uh, very successful day. The original plan of going with Strictly 10 car didn't last that long. Uh, basically, it was crazy windy. Uh, the water level was crazy high and crazy fast. So, you know, it was my first time out, so I just wanted to catch some fish. Um, you know, later on in the season, I'll probably dedicate some more days to Strictly 10 Cara. I did notice some hatches going on. There were some tiny mayflies. I'm guessing it was a midge hatch. Um, I did tie on some Griffiths gnats and did get some rises yesterday, so that was good. I also hooked a monster fish. 
probably one of my biggest fish I've ever hooked. I did hook him on a um, Betis Emerger. So I did use a lot of the hairs here nymph that caught actually my biggest fish. Um, you know, it was murky water, like I said, it was fast and high. I wanted to use something big profile, so what I did is, and this is typical of using a duo setup, I used a bigger fly at the top. It was more like a size 12-ish. Um, and then I used a 16 at the bottom. And I caught most of my, even so though, you know, it goes to show, and this is a very well possible what could have happened is that the big fly, and, and that's the whole point of using a, a big, bigger fly at the top too, is that the big fly catches their attention and then, you know, they, they see the big fly and then right behind it comes the little fly. I did land most of my fish on the, the smaller fly, which was the betis. Uh, my betis nymph was pretty much my my bread and butter yesterday. So, thanks for watching guys, and I hope you guys are excited about the new 2015 season. And I'll see you guys in the water. Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do, because I'm constantly updating new footage all the time. So you can do so by clicking this right here. Also, check out our website at www.wishforfishtv.com. You could also follow us on Instagram and Twitter at wishforfishtv. Thanks a lot, guys, and catch you guys on the water.